Nvidia has announced like 50 series of their uh, GPUs and I'm excited to see those GPUs because as content creator and media creation guy like I, I like to see more performance always and I do casually game a little bit so I like good quality games however this announcement has ca caused like um, mixed feelings to say at least like for example it was stated from the stage at CES 2025 that our RTX 5070 will give 4090 performers at $549 price tag. Is that a reality? So I have watched all the keynote and prepared an Excel spreadsheet and uh, I've seen a lot of video YouTube videos like like uh, nailing it down like what actually is going to improve there so I want to present you with uh, like like the facts here and I want to do it quickly I want to uh, keep you informed in something under five minutes like what is the real improvement here to do that, I'll, uh, I'll just compare two GPUs, which is GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super and 4070 Ti, which is to me a very, very fair comparison here. So if you compare these two uh, GPUs side by side, emotions aside, um, then you'll see something very interesting. When it comes to memory specs, both cards are the same, 16 gigabytes of VRAM, but the 5070 does offer 16 gigabytes of GDDR, GDDR7, while 4070 Ti Super is GDDR6. X. So probably more bandwidth, not probably like of course more bandwidth there. But when you look at RT cores, so ray tracing cores, it's only four cores difference between those two cards. So not that much of a jump here. Also, when it comes to tensor calls, which is this AIing thing, so AI cores, this there's a huge difference. There's a hundred percent jump there. So in the older generation, you have seven seven oh six AI tops. And on the newer generation, you have 1400 AI tops. So there's a huge jump here. So to me, that is a clear message from Nvidia. We are investing in AI, upscaling, frame generation. This is the future of gaming. This is what they, what they are saying uh, to us, not the raw performance here. When it comes to boost clock, this is the most important, most interesting part because actually we are getting more boost clock and more base clock on the older generation than on the newer generation. It's not a much difference because if you compare boost clock, for example, it's 2.61 versus 2.45, but you get less, um, you know, this boost clock in, in gigahertz. So that's interesting. Maybe that's because of the power efficiency. However, we'll get to the power very soon. So stay tuned. When it comes to something that is really interesting to me, it's about the media engine. So now we have, uh, before we had this two times eighth generation media engine, so NVENC was pretty fast already, but now we're getting two times ninth generation uh, media encoding. So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in future. And AMD just announced the RX 9070 XT and 9070 with uh, this slide saying better media encoding quality. So let's see what that means and let's wait for Nvidia to actually announce something solid there. And why do I say that I would not agree with the excitement of Linux when he was able to play on both GPUs side by side in Las Vegas? In one part of the video, he is showing like this power draw of this 5090 and 4090. And you can see a huge difference there. It's, it's actually 575 watts versus 450 watts on the previous generation. All the cards eat more power. So in case of 4070 Ti Super and 5070 Ti, 4070 Ti Super draws 280 watts of total graphics power, 285 watts. GeForce RTX 5070 draws 300 watts. So my key takeaway here is that um, if the card takes more power, it can give you more power, but is this hardware really that much more powerful? Time will show, but this is a little suspicious. Uh, take, it with, take it with a pinch of salt. Now, when 4070 Ti was announced, the uh, price was 799 and the RTX 5070 Ti is 7409, uh, 749. So those 
cards are similarly priced and it's very nice to see a little price cut here or RTX 5070 Ti and it seems to be a very very attractive option however some of the cores has have been upgraded there's new architecture here there can be a more they, they can be more power efficient so time will show how more efficient those cards will actually be and even this official chart on Nvidia's uh, website uh, comparing you know this the, this performance between previous generation and current generation that you can see on the bottom of this of this chart um, this text is long and there's a lot of there's a lot of things to take into consideration so there's uh, you know like frame generation on there's some 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 you know post processing on uh, in case of for example plaque uh, plaque requiem uh, it doesn't support some of the Nvidia DLSS standards etc etc so and live with will show how much of a real difference we will have but that is uh, something that we have to wait for because uh, we have to put our own hands on those GPUs and see how they perform in real life thanks for watching I hope you found it informative and uh, and quick <laughs> so leave thumbs up leave comments below what you think about this new generation of Nvidia uh, GPUs and stay tuned to my channel